Hello, I'm Sherry Taylor. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a refractometer demonstration. Refractometer is going to measure the refractive index of a gem materials. All gem materials will have their own unique range or unique measurements for refractive index. What's the refractive index? So on the refractometer, the refractive index is expressed as a number and it shows how much that path of light is bent or refracted when it passes through the material. A simple way to explain it is like this. Light changes direction when it moves from one medium to another and therefore the light is refracted. The best example of this can be seen if you guys had what you know if you've ever had a prism or a crystal and the white light passes through and creates this rainbow, beautiful rainbow effect on your wall. I believe the refractometer is one of the most powerful tools in gem identification. Are you ready for the demonstration? Let's get started. When using the refractometer, you're going to need a gem refractometer liquid. A little bottle like this will go a long way. I use mine daily and it generally lasts about a year. It is a very strong chemical, so just be cautious when using. Here's the actual refractometer. You can see the viewing lens there. And then as we turn it around, you can see that on the side there is refractive index listed for the most common gem materials. When you lift the cover, you can then see the hemicylinder where you are going to place the gemstone as you're testing it. Behind the refractometer is the polariscope, which is also used for gem identification. I use the light from the polariscope in order to see the reading on the refractometer. So the first step is to take a little bit of the RI liquid and place a little dot on the top of the refractometer there. We're going to use that um, as a barrier between the gemstone and the tool. So you slide the gemstone across the liquid and into the center portion of the refractometer and then you should be able to get a reading. Uh, usually it's nice and crisp and clear if the stone is not abraded or scratched on the surface. As you can see the lighter blue line, that is our reading. The blue portion above that, the darker blue, that is because I used a little bit too much liquid. It appears to be a 1.54, 1.55 which would indicate quartz. So as I mentioned earlier, each gemstone material is going to have their own unique range or reading on the refractometer. And the best resource for this information is the GIA Gem Lab Manual. There are gemstones that will have similar readings, so it's important to know the other key tests that you'll need to perform to properly identify the material. That information can be found in the Gem Identification Lab Manual. It's important to note that testing does not stop with the refractometer. There are other tests that need to be performed, but it is a primary step that gemologists will use in order to guide them in the right direction. It's one of my favorite gemological instruments and this particular one in the video I've had since I was a student. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you and we'll see you again next time.